Hello, and welcome to ServiceNow's Low-Code Capability Deep Dive. In this nine-part series, we're going to take a look at the various aspects of the ServiceNow platform that empower creators of all skill levels with the ability to rapidly build high-quality, scalable, and easy-to-govern apps. Let's turn our focus now to process and business logic design. Workflow automation is at the core of nearly every ServiceNow app, and for that reason, we offer a breadth of options to our customers to help them address any process need. Before diving into specific capabilities, let's briefly touch on the options we provide to various personas involved with process and business logic design. As mentioned in the Developer Tools section, our flagship low-code IDE, App Engine Studio, brings together everything necessary to build any type of automation on the ServiceNow platform, while also providing context to other aspects of low-code app dev, like data, end-user experiences, and security. We have also recently introduced a new automation-specific studio called Workflow Studio, designed specifically for automation designers and admins. This facilitates collaboration between subject matter experts, as individuals focused on low-code app development will have the complete suite of ServiceNow capabilities at their fingertips, while individuals focused on select portions of an app, like integrations or decision matrices, can leverage Workflow Studio for a focused perspective. Both App Engine Studio and Workflow Studio use the exact same technology under the hood, so all automation created in Workflow Studio can be used in low-code apps, and any automation developed in App Engine Studio can be opened in Workflow Studio. ServiceNow provides a modular approach to automation, facilitating a high degree of reuse and ease of maintenance. We offer a variety of automation options, but at a glance, here's a common scenario. At the highest level of process orchestration, our customers can leverage playbooks. These playbooks can contain any number of automated actions compartmentalized in an entity we call a flow. These flows can make calls to low-code integration connectors, automated functions we call subflows, and actions or an automated decision matrix. These modular components can be used together, as outlined by this example, or stand alone to serve any type of function. Let's dive into each capability, starting with process orchestration using our playbooks. This is a no-code builder designed for process owners to create and manage complex workflows using a BPMN-like experience. Playbooks are suitable for quick, facilitated actions, or even very long-running processes spanning months or even years. Using either view, users can add conditional logic and activities. Playbooks are broken up into two main parts, stages and activities, with stages being the container for activities. Both stages and activities support any degree of parallel or sequential execution. The activities can range from simple, out-of-the-box ServiceNow actions like creating a task or sending an email, all the way to complex function calls with nested references. By using this option to include all automation assets, we get the full range of low-code automation options on the platform, including direct access to our library of over 210 low-code spokes, or integration connectors. We also provide a nice placeholder option that allows process owners to stub out their entire process up front and easily swap it out for working automation as it becomes available. Playbooks can be used in the background to facilitate process execution, but are most often used to handle both structured and unstructured cases and work completion. We saw earlier how these playbooks can be surfaced in the service catalog to facilitate fulfillment, but they're most commonly used in the context of our workspaces. As you can see here, the playbook gives the end user a streamlined user experience to complete any type of task with automation and guidance infused throughout. This approach takes a low-code application far beyond a form and can drive immense levels of consistency and efficiency with any type of work. To handle unstructured cases, we offer a concept called optional activities, which can be configured at a global level or for a specific stage. During runtime, if a user encounters something that deviates from the standard process, they can use these optional activities to handle any circumstance. These are most often used to provide catch-all automation, sometimes involving manual intervention to address edge case scenarios. Next, let's look at the building blocks of automation, our flows and subflows. Flows are trigger-based, so in this case, the automation is activated whenever a lease record is created or updated. Subflows act like low-code function calls. They can be sent input objects, like strings or references, and then can return outputs. 
Once run, these objects execute a series of actions and conditional logic. Our comprehensive set of flow logic gives low-code developers access to all of the sophisticated options available to pro developers in an easy-to-use graphical capacity. The actions available here span out-of-the-box ServiceNow functions, low-code connectors to external systems, and custom automation built by the customer. Using this action object, you can easily incorporate our intelligent document processing, robotic process automation, and even generative AI into any low-code app automation with ease. One important note is that we have testing built directly into Flow Designer, so you can run your flow on a sample record of your choice to ensure it's working as expected. We also provide a way to download an image of your flow should the need arise. Another great part about working with Flow Designer is that we have generative AI recommendations built right into the tool. Depending on the context of your automation, Flow recommendations will provide potential next steps, whether that's an action or conditional logic. We give our customers a low-code IDE to create custom actions with the ability to leverage a wide range of options, including ServiceNow actions like Record Lookup, handy utilities like logging and JSON and Payload Builder, along with a number of integration capabilities like parsing JSON, interacting with PowerShell, REST, SFTP, JDBC, SSH, and more. As we can see by this action for creating an invoice line, we make an initial REST call using our Easy Request Builder. The response to that call can be easily viewed and leveraged in subsequent steps using our JSON parser. And then we can perform additional actions as necessary, such as a script step to work with the data. The final stages of an action entail error evaluation and an output, which can be used in a low-code capacity within a flow or a subflow. Once created, anyone with appropriate permissions can call these actions in their own low-code app, allowing our customers to build custom libraries of unique, reusable actions specific to their business. For the most custom, code-based automation, our customers can leverage scripting in a variety of places throughout the Now platform. You saw a moment ago how you can embed custom code into a modular action, but we also provide the ability for our customers to create business rules, UI policies, server-side scripts, and client-side scripts. A business rule is a server-side script that runs anywhere a record is displayed, inserted, updated, deleted, or when a table is queried. A typical business rule might execute a script after a user updates an incident or escalates the priority of a change request. A client script runs custom JavaScript on the client side to apply logic based on user actions or form events. UI scripts are reusable JavaScript code that can be included in pages and forms across the ServiceNow platform. There are more areas where custom code can be used based on business rules, but these are the primary mechanisms. Now that we've covered the traditional way to build playbooks, flows, and low-level automation, let's look at how generative AI is completely transforming this process for our customers. ServiceNow's generative AI offering is called Now Assist, and it spans all of our out-of-the-box workflows. We have a curated selection of Gen AI skills designed for our creators that we package in an offering called Now Assist for Creator. This includes the app generation and catalog generation capabilities we covered earlier, in addition to a variety of automation capabilities. We have playbook generation, which allows users to enter a text prompt to derive an entire business process via our playbooks. This lets users get started extremely fast and can help bring a manual process, perhaps one maintained in a standard operating procedure document, into the digital world in just a few moments. We also have flow generation, which offers even more functionality. After providing a prompt, the user is presented with a visual preview of their flow, along with the ability to reprompt if they so desire. This flow generation capability allows users to specify connections to external systems like Microsoft Teams or Jira, and can even incorporate their own custom actions and subflows via our Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, capability. We also offer code generation, which allows users to enter a comment in any ServiceNow code editor and generate suitable code based on ServiceNow's proprietary model called the Now LLM. This gives our customers access to not only highly capable code, but code generated with a high degree of adherence to ServiceNow best practices. Let's shift our attention now to decision modeling and automation. We offer a tool called Decision Builder that allows our users to create a decision matrix of any complexity to take a series of inputs, process a decision based on condi conditional logic, and then supply an output. 
As you can see in this example, we take a record reference on a material master data task and then move it to the correct assignment group and state based on the, con uh, the contents of that record. This decision table can be easily exported to Excel, managed by a process expert, and then imported back into the NOW platform to enable simple distributed ownership over decisions. These decisions can then be referenced anywhere on the NOW platform, whether in a playbook, flow, or even custom code. To manage all of these various processes, we provide a consolidated operations view. This provides a rundown of both playbook and flow executions, allowing admins to dive into full, low-level detail as necessary. For instance, we can view every aspect of this flow and see the exact state of every step in the execution. We also offer a more comprehensive solution to manage an entire automation center of excellence via our product, Automation Center. This unified command center helps our customers boost multi-vendor automation value, simplify automation lifecycle management, monitor their entire hyper-automation landscape, and support business outcomes by maximizing uptime and preventing automation failures. The Automation Center homepage is divided into three main parts. The Overview page, which provides a high-level summary perfect for automation leaders. The Executions dashboard, which outlines the status of all monitored automation and the value page, which allows our customers to align automation projects to realized business value in the way of both cost and time savings. Automation Center works by supporting the full life cycle of automation activities from the intake, prioritization, and build out of new automation requests to the monitoring, maintenance, and retiring of active automation. Automation Center currently supports monitoring both RPA-based automation, including ServiceNow and third party, along with ServiceNow flows. All of these objects are tracked using our industry-leading configuration management database, also known as the CMDB. This is achieved by making each aspect of automation a configuration item, allowing admins to treat automation components just like any other mission-critical piece of infrastructure. This means our customers benefit from all the monitoring and dependency mapping capabilities we offer with our off-the-shelf IT products in the context of their custom low-code apps and automation. For instance, you can track upstream and downstream application dependencies and receive proactive notification if a business service your low-code app relies on is experiencing service degradation. From the ServiceNow perspective, low-code app development is not a point-in-time activity, but rather a continuous process involving feedback, prioritization, and iteration. One of the best tools we have to support this approach is process mining. Using process mining, our customers can unlock hidden inefficiencies in their processes, whether that involves an activity existing purely on ServiceNow, a third-party system, or a mix of both. By leveraging our graphical process analysis tool, the Analyst Workbench, one can easily identify bottlenecks in the flow of work and use that insight to improve a low-code app or workflow. Here we can quickly see the most prominent lag in our process occurs between the pending sales data and pending purchasing data stages, with an average completion time of one day. You can even use various types of filtering to determine if this is a specific problem. In this case, we can evaluate the differences between geos. This can provide the perfect data-driven insight to fuel feature development on a low-code app. Users can even open an automation request from within this view that flows directly into Automation Center. A great example of transforming a manual bottleneck using ServiceNow can be seen using our intelligent document processing capability, Document Intelligence. This capability combines advanced optical character recognition technology with AI and machine learning to power semi and fully automated document workflows. Admins and low-code developers can set up document processing jobs that can learn the structure of documents over time. You can use this interface to confirm field accuracy, and using machine learning, it can adapt to even major changes in document structure in the instance that a document template is modified. Doc Intel will provide a confidence level upon completing a processing job, and you can then specify a confidence threshold at which point fully automated processing will kick in. Doc Intel can be incorporated into any low-code application by simply leveraging its actions within playbooks or flows. We even provide an automatic mechanism to generate flows based off document processing jobs. In the case where intelligent document processing, out-of-the-box workflow automation, or even API-based integrations can't do the job, we provide robotic process automation capabilities as well. 
Our RPA solutions help our customers automate legacy system integration and routine actions, truly unifying their automation landscape on the ServiceNow platform. We provide a rich set of tools to develop bot automation using a low-code designer similar to our other builders. This tool provides a range of easy-to-use tools, including connectors to common desktop applications, templates, and of course, integration to Flow Designer. Using Flow Designer, it's easy to pass data to and from these bots using our secure and reliable desktop agent. We also provide a purpose-built RPA hub that allows admins to manage the specific details of their ServiceNow RPA deployment, including focus areas to manage the build, administration, and monitoring of their bots. Regardless of the process or business logic need, ServiceNow provides a comprehensive set of tools to help our low-code developers transform their workflows with ease. Thanks for watching, and join us for part four of our series as we explore application and data connectivity.